Hi guys. Hey guys. What a beautiful sunny day. I'm so glad I'm still able to see the sunshine and to live another day. Yeah. That almost I did not. I, I couldn't believe what uh you know because i went to my parents uh yesterday and then on the way back that's when uh almost uh turned to the worst you could have lost a wife i could have been in a hospital i could mm. be disabled forever uh, we could have totaled well, our almost car got, you almost got killed yeah it could, yeah. could probably kill me with uh that impact yeah i was uh doing 80 miles per hour in kilometers the per hour. Oh no, yeah, kilometer per hour. I always just miles That's per hour. That's about 50 miles an hour. Yeah, 50 miles per hour on the highway, or we call it in the U.S. a uh, freeway. Yeah. I was driving in the highway or freeway. I was by myself, and then this pickup just crossed the road. Crossed the road and just in front of me like I flashed him with my bright lights to let him know like hey I'm here don't cross it or I and I, I honk also I didn't have time I should have honked him for long but after I, I kind of honked him for a little bit but then I focused to like hold on my steering wheel to slam on the brake and slam on my brake to the floor I'll show you guys the video in a here pretty quick but it just amazed me how people can be so I don't know how could anybody like just like cross in front of you unless he didn't see me possible he, he, he's crossing a four-lane highway at about five miles an hour you know and he, and he crossed the other lanes the lane the lane she was in he had one lane blocked still trying and then Right as she got on him, he kept going forward and blocked the only lane that was available. So she had to slam on the brakes and lock him up, basically. It's hard for me to believe because I know I, I was so close to him that I thought he, he would not go cross all the way. He yeah. would probably just wait and, you know, how could he you be so... <laughs> Yeah. So he really pulled in front of me anyway, despite of all the things I, I did, like flash him uh, with my light and then uh, honk him too. And oh I, I, You know, they don't, here they don't understand the, fail, the yield to oncoming traffic. The mindset here is they just pull out and here I come, watch out for me, and without even looking. And... I know you said that plenty of times and I start yeah. to realize that's what it is in here. Watch out for me. Yeah. Uh, before you keep saying that because I never thought I would drive in the Philippines anyway because I felt like I was, I'm was, i much safer driving in the U.S. But yeah. we're not in the U.S. anymore. Uh, so I had to, you know, dr drive here. It's a big uh, retraining of the driving culture here to, you know, watch out for other cars instead of the thinking of watch out for me here I come so many people are killed here and uh, it, it was just terrible I mean I I told her while driving here Defensive you come up on somebody you have to anticipate they're gonna do the dumbest thing that they could do and you have to figure that because they they, well, they don't look they don't I always think of like like that of course but there are so many of them that it's hard to avoid and i tried to Very drive as careful as i can good thing i wasn't in the car because i would i would have been getting out beating on his window and probably got kicked out of the country yeah okay well dennis is going to check the bacon because uh he's cooking a uh, bacon right now we're gonna have our breakfast uh very soon but guys i just you know that's what I have been thinking all night and all this morning about what could have happened. Anyway, guys, uh, I will show you about an eight-second video. I took a video of the dash cam that uh, we have in the vehicle. It's a good thing we have that. So you guys have seen what happened you have no time to uh, to react and the good thing about it like i did not of course i was scared but i 
did not let go of the steering wheel because Dennis always tell me that's the worst thing you could do is you know panic and then let go of your steering wheel I hold on to my steering wheel and just slam the brake all the way to the floor you can hear that noise of the tires <sighs> my goodness I can't believe it what is it? Huh? what is it? did you look? yeah I was gonna check that thing that we saw outside I bet this is the electricity bill. Is it? Looks like it, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's an electricity. Good thing they do this now so they won't get wet. Right. Good idea. Before, they just put it in your fence and, uh, you know. I can't believe. I'm so glad I'm still alive today. Honey. So am I. Very okay. glad. What are you looking at? I was trying to see where that's leaking at. Yeah. You could have loosed your wife. <laughs> yeah, that would have been horrible. What would I do? What would you do? Probably hang myself from the doorknob in the bedroom. My gosh. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. Thank God. Thank yeah. you, Lord. I'm still here. Able to see another day. Yeah. Very scary. It happened. Your life can change in a heartbeat, man. I know. You be so careful out here driving. Uh, maybe I should check how much is our bill this month. So water bill or electric bill? Electric. We already got our water bill. Oh, two hundred dollars. Yeah. Same as usual. It was usual. <laughs> electric is very expensive here. Hey guys. $10,137 $200 Anyway, we are gonna I need to cut up all the lettuce and tomatoes because yeah. Dennis is cooking bacon right now Basically. Oh, it's done? Yeah Okay, I need to cut up the lettuce and tomatoes then We're gonna have a BLT sandwich Here guys, I just cut up the tomatoes and then uh, we only have one of the big kind so I also added the small one the regular kind that we can get at the market and the lettuce here and then here's Dennis uh, just got done with the, the bacon there's our wheat bread 100% wheat bread and of course there's mayonnaise as you can see guys see We're looking very good thank you honey for making this is this for me? Yeah. Okay. We need to unplug this. You're done, right? No. Uh, so you're not? Re Recook some of this. Oh, that's not cooked yet? No. I think that's good enough. I can't mm. have that. I mm. can't have that. Not right. cool, you know? Let's cook it a minute. So this is mine? Yeah. Okay. Take a look at that guys, I'm gonna put some tomatoes. Okay, so now I'm gonna put lettuce. This is it, guys. That's it? Yeah. I'll wait for you. Oh, you can go ahead. No, I'll wait oh. for you. And we have Coke. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it's we need to pair it with something, right? Yeah, yeah something great. <laughs> Yay, Dennis is done. He wants to cook his bacon longer and crispy. And there's another one there that uh, is very tough and he cannot get it maybe because this is a little thicker honey maybe and he wants to give it to me and i found one lace you don't want any lace no i don't i don't need potato chips i thank you lord for giving me another chance to, to eat with you again honey. i know can that enjoy so the scary man yeah it was very scary I'm very mad at that driver 
I still so, think you, you know, you still think you should take that video to the police department. Yeah, we were thinking about it, but I don't. I, don't, I wanna almost killed you. Yeah, I know. Anyway, let's see, guys. Let's see, guys. I was so distracted, honey, in my mind that I forgot that you are actually wearing the nothing t-shirt yeah i already did something so. yeah because i saw i saw it yesterday yeah, good job too and uh the uh, t-shirt that dennis friend uh sent to him mel yeah, yeah. he is actually uh going to wash, wash it, it because today. yeah because uh, it's a little big so yeah. maybe if we will wash it it will shrink then dennis can wear it for tomorrow yeah Thanks again, Mel. Thank you, you, Mel. Sure. <laughs> Very nice of you. Yeah. So, I will be so busy. I'm going to town to take the laundry. Maybe I'll have the car wash just out. Uh, yeah, just the outside because the inside mm -hmm. is clean. And, you know, it was so muddy yeah. uh, yesterday when I went to my parents. I'm going to the store. I'm also going to the Western Union to send that money to my aunt because uh, one subscriber uh, wanted to send a donation to the family of my uncle. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm going to do. Send it to my aunt in Western Union. So I'll be doing a few things. Busy for a few hours. Hopefully it will be done in a couple of hours. Yeah. And there you go. I hope there's no more things like that yesterday. And actually, guys, I'll probably try to stop at the wherever I can police station. LTO. Show the video. You, you know, I I know that maybe why I'm making a big deal. Well, they almost got killed. You know, I don't it, do anything, but at least you maybe know. I will try to do. Yeah, at least try. Yeah. yeah, at least try. See, if, because I took a picture of the you know the plate number and everything i can show it i maybe they can trace it yeah, through sure the plate again. number anyway i need to go now <sighs> so hot you got water uh i don't i don't have water you don't want water no i don't need water there's the cut again hmm? huh? the cut yeah oh so hot guys I know it's not necessary to tell you the weather. There are people, there are viewers that wanted to, and there is this uh, viewer that hate it when we report yeah. the Very weather. Very irritated when we, when yeah, we uh, whenever report we, the weather. Whenever we mention about the weather, she gets so uh, like, you know, there's nothing yeah. new, same old, same old. Very abusive. <laughs> but you know, there are some that uh, likes the weather yeah. report. So. Win some, lose some. <laughs> what the hell that rift got? See how the rift sagging right there? Oh yeah. I think it's collecting water right there. Why I haven't noticed it? that before. Why is it sagging in there? I don't know. I, I just noticed that, let me yeah. see. What could be the reason for that? I have no idea, but it's probably got water pulled up there. Maybe it's been like that, honey, is it? Uh, maybe and we just now noticed it. I don't know, but maybe it's like that before. I'll we'll have to get a pole and push it back up. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's uh, sagging, huh? Yeah. Could be it's the step or something. Or maybe it's because of the wood. Don't you think? No. Nah, yeah, look at the wood. It kind of nah, bends. It's got a little sag spot right there in the boat. Yeah, not the wood. Oh, it's not I mean, the wood. Yeah, so stepped on the roof or something. Yeah, maybe because when they were working oh. on that uh, wind turbine last time, maybe it's... Yeah, you can see it's dented right there. There. Yeah. There's dent. Yeah. I have to push up on it. So guys, I had a couple of things done. And now I am going to the place there called Palawan. That's where I will send the money to my aunt. Because uh, this place here uh, should be cheaper. Cheaper to send than Western Union. So this is where I'm going to go. See you guys in a little bit. I just sent the money I just got done. Uh, 
that was very quick thankfully there's not a lot of people usually i see people there all the time lined up but this time there's not much that was quick and it's cheaper yeah so this money is ready to be picked up my aunt can pick it up anytime now and now i am going to maybe get a car washed the inside don't need to be washed it's uh it's clean so just the outside nice shiny car now almost didn't have a car yesterday almost lost our car yesterday and a wife almost lost yeah. a wife too yeah wow honey you could have very lucky you could have lose uh both I know, in one, one day. What would you rather lose, the car or your wife? Oh, the car, of course. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> I thought you... Oh, I just got back, guys, after three hours of in uh, town, but I only had them car wash the outside, you know, not the inside. Yeah, oh, inside, right. Yeah. Yeah, I can carry this. Thank you, honey. All right. That's it? Mm-hmm. Here. I got everything done and uh, except one thing was gonna go to the police or whoever I'm going to complain but I did not because uh, while I was at the car wash uh, there was a, a couple of guys there that were also having a car wash and we happened to talk about like the cars and then it you know we talk about the accidents and i shared to them about what happened yeah. and um i asked them you guys know anything about where we can complain about an accident uh, or not an almost an accident so their response was oh no no you can't you can't do that unless it's hap it happened there's a damage in your car there's dents there's scratches yeah. then you can complain but it didn't happen it's like you're complaining to somebody like things that were gonna happen but it did not happen complaining it just about somebody being stupid and there's nothing they can do <laughs> no cure for that <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing you can do so i thought yeah that if it, i go to the police station oh there is there a damage in your car or uh, are, are you okay yeah. if i would probably bang my head uh because i didn't wear a seat belt but yeah. it will still be my fault because why i didn't wear my seat belt yeah. good thing i always wear my seat, seat yeah, belt is. anyway all the time well, so she didn't get hurt the car didn't get damaged but uh hmm. well it's close very close i'm just gonna leave it like that um but yeah i have that video i'm gonna keep it yeah just in case and you got the experience yeah i got the ex <laughs> of uh, almost uh close yeah. to maybe death yeah you close think to, yeah could have been i mean if you had to slam locked up your brakes yeah you hit that guy <sighs> i got you a little treat honey oh thank you and who knows about the kids in the car they may have been hurt too man they had kids in that truck yeah so what he was trying to do is trying to park on the side of the road he had that mother and uh two child to from being inside to the outside yeah well lucky yeah anyway got all these things milk and everything okay Whew. so guys i'm getting ready to go to town but first I need to water that particular plant that always get welted if I don't water it for a day oh my god <laughs> I was about to go but I can't stand it looking at my plant well you're multitasking <laughs> Multi well even though even though it looks like it's gonna rain I said even though it looks like it's gonna rain, I still need to see. Look at this, it's wilting. I need to water it. Well, just rain. How can it be wilting already? No, it I didn't rain. Like that all the time. No, it didn't rain for a couple of days. When I look at my rambutan, yeah, it looks I'm like. for some fruit to get on it. I think it is going to fruit. They said nothing will survive. But uh, look at that, it's starting to have a tiny one. Look. Looks good. See? I hope it does. Yeah, that's rambutan, a small one. 
they are very sure that it's not gonna survive the first fruits yeah. nothing survives really? May only the second or maybe third but this one looks like it's going to maybe a few of them oh, will okay let's hope it will very exciting even this one i need someone to spray this though yeah. see this tiny rambutan yeah but Samuel is very busy right now. Let that grass grow, maybe it'll fill in. Huh? That grass right there. Oh, that grass there? Yeah. I don't know, this is a bushy kind, honey. Yeah. They will grow very long. No, then we'd have to cut it. You hurry up, baby. <laughs> I always like this stuff. Very cool. It's very good. <laughs> I like putting flowers on my face. Yeah, it looks good. It makes me feel like I'm in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> looks good. Does it? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> very I'm, beautiful. I'm a very simple Filipina. Low maintenance. You should be thankful, honey. That I am very thankful. I am low maintenance. I'm very thankful. I don't need to maintain. You know, I just want not to be natural, and I'm glad that uh, you're okay with that. To be natural. Fine with it. <laughs> fine with it. Really? Well, that's very good. Sometimes you're emotionally high maintenance, but <laughs> maybe that's the only high maintenance. <laughs> when the tampo strikes <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well my tampo honey only lasts for a moment yeah it only lasts until i tell you i'm sorry <laughs> for forcing you into tampo <laughs> then it's over don't don't reveal it honey that's a secret <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh guys yeah we are a uh, unusual age gap couple but our relationship is just like any other relationship not the bad relationship but uh, the good kind yeah good kind. <laughs> i'm grateful i'm thankful yeah you know, i'm I very could... thankful for everything yeah you are yeah yeah um, if you yeah. have a good relationship with your husband or, or your wife yeah then think uh, everything very grateful man yeah everything is uh, and everything else will be okay yeah <laughs> if everything else is okay and your relationship with your husband or wife is not okay i think it's still not yeah, good not good anyway guys that's enough chica chica i need to go <laughs> i need to go to town now to get the laundry before it rains yeah but i don't think it's gonna rain and that is it for our video today guys uh again i'm so grateful and thankful to god that i'm still alive today and she helped me too uh it didn't wreck our car or totaled our car another day to be uh you know thankful, to be thankful for. for yep yep thank you so much guys for always watching and supporting our channel we really appreciate every one of you I, each of you yes we I, do each and every one of each you. and every one of you <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys and see you soon thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye, -bye.